Okay, so Christmas is behind us now, but there's still plenty of entertaining to do. What we've got, New Year's, my birthday, other big celebrations going on. Vicki Hutchins, Joanne Martin are the Gooseberry Patch ladies, and they are in the kitchen with us today talking about some fantastic, uh, I guess, appetizers or hors d'oeuvres. Ladies, always great to see you. Thank you. you. So hopefully you had an enjoyable Christmas. Absolutely. And now we have more parties to plan for. Of course, the holiday's not over just yet. What are we going to do today? Okay, well, we're going to start with some mini sausage tarts, and I'm going to go ahead and start making them, and okay. we're going to have you, we're going to teach you how to make them today. They're All made right. with mini uh, phyllo cups that you buy at the grocery store oh, yeah, in the, the freezer little, okay, section. Dough. All right. I've never worked with those before, but, but they're really sweet, and they're bite-sized, mm -hmm. so they're perfect. So now, what, is this like a uh, breakfast sausage, or what kind of sausage? Be. You, you can use here. one with sage, you can mm -hmm. use a spicy Italian one if you like. Okay. And we've got some ranch dressing here. We've right. got some minced olives that I'm going to throw in here. Look how fast this is now. You can yeah, also have the spell of it all made pepper. up a, de a day ahead of time. So okay. when your guests come over, you just pop it in the little cups and put it in the oven for 12 minutes and it's done. That's and the awesome. nice so little trick is our tool here that makes right, so it so yeah, much yeah, this easier. Little thing, it looks like a melon baller kind of it thing. It kind of is. So it's like a mini cookie scoop. We'll let I'm you do learning that. the fact mm -hmm. that you know melon baller, that I know what that is. I'm getting there. I'm impressed. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and take a little scoop and then pop it in your tarts. Just a little bit right there. Yep. Is that too much? No, that'd be it's fine. It's okay to have it overflow a little bit? bit. Yes, Pack it okay. in a little bit. Get yep, it right yep. in there in that dough. Exactly. And okay. when you put them in a little muffin tin mm -hmm. like this, it keeps them from rolling over and whatnot. Yeah. You know, so it just keeps it nice yep. and easy. All these oh, recipes fantastic. today, too, can be made ahead. And that's part of the beauty of it because everybody's busy. Oh, yeah. Uh, even the week between, you know, Christmas and New Year's. Well, we've got uh, returns and stuff. You exactly. know, you have to take care of all yes, that. So. Yes, yes. Somebody didn't get me the melon baller I wanted, so I have Aww. to go back and... Look how easy, look how good he is at that. Am I doing okay with this? All right, so now once you put this in here, you get them in the little phyllo mm -hmm. dough cups, then what yeah. happens next? You can garnish them if you want with extra little olives or red pepper, uh, anything you want, um, really. So, and then you go ahead and put them in the oven okay. at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. That's it. Ten to twelve minutes and done, and this, this is, is what they look like. If you oh want to try one, they're really they're satisfying. You, you really can eat them should. with your fingers. Yeah, mm. you could. Oh, finger you food could is try really one. good. Yes. All right, so now that's just one of okay. four yep. fantastic yep. ideas that you have. What are the other? This one right in go the ahead, middle. Vicky. Spinach dip. Yes, one and of that's, my a, favorite it's a things. It's staple. Everybody loves it. It's so super easy to make and look how beautiful it is with all the vegetables and the, the cut up bread. You can use any kind of bread. This is pumpernickel, but you uh -huh. can use rye or sourdough. I'm trying um, to think of like when else, and, I, and you ladies would know this, other uses for pumpernickel because that's whenever I think of pumpernickel, Ooh, this is it. Oh, so Ruben. a Ruben? Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Ruben. Mini Rubens actually would be great. Oh, you know, wow. Absolutely. I think for stuffing you could appetizer. use the bread inside. You could toast it and make some really good stuffing. Uh -huh. so it has really, really, really nice flavor. It's great. Awesome. This is always requested. It's yeah. one of our all time favorites. That yeah. oh, it doesn't People last long any lot. party I've ever been to. I know that. All right, yep. so the next over for okay. a little spicy. This mm. one is kind of a treat. This is a, kind of a little secret under here. Ooh. This is buffalo chicken dip. And you use oh, um, wow. chicken, like rotisserie chicken if you like. Yeah. It's got a lot of hot sauce in here. Blue oh, cheese, really? blue yeah, cheese I dressing. Know. Uh, I don't know cheddar if you'd like cheese. to try one here. It's got a little kick to it here. All Actually, right. this so, has a little Mexican blend it cheese does. in it. Mm -hmm. It does. So what gives it the kick? Oh, we, it's got a whole bottle of hot sauce, yes. and depending on how hot you like it, mm. I don't it think kinda, it's too hot either. I love. I think the you could add a little bit more mm. if you like, but a lot of cheese flavors great. It does have really good flavor, and I taste blue cheese. Uh -huh. Yes, but you could use ranch if you don't like blue cheese. Okay, that'd mm -hmm. be good. And then yeah. finally, so these uh, little wraps you have right here—they're these rolled are up. These are high things. rollers. We've got yes. turkey. We've got uh, what was baby, the flavor? Baby spinach, honey. It was a honey nut cream cheese. Yes. But you could oh, use whatever, you could use cheese. veggie or chai. And then what sort of kind. meat in there? Is it like There's a turkey ham? breast. Yeah. Turkey breast. Mm -hmm. some turkey breast in and here. Dried and some dried cranberries. And you can see how beautiful mm -hmm. it is. Just roll them up Fantastic. tight and then slice them. All of these so simple. And of, uh, of course, ladies, I mean, are these recipes available in your many books? Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. And thousands more recipes on our website at gooseberrypatch.com. Awesome. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank Always you. a treat to have you in the kitchen with us. And we thank have you. recipes. These recipes and more on our website. Go to myfox28columbus.com, click on Good Day Columbus, and then click on Fox 28 Recipes.